Hi, it's Rest from Pro Tools Expert, and some hot news today is the guys over at Sugarbytes have come out with a VST to AX adapter. Now, this is great news for many of us because as Pro Tools transitions to the next version, we've been told that the stuff that is currently RTAS will not work unless it's AX when we go to the next version of Pro Tools. And that's been a concern for some of us. It means that we've been uh, dealing with trying to get uh, software companies to do the transition. So this is a great, if nothing else, it's a great stopgap. It might might even be the, the thing that fixes some plugins that never get ported across. Don't uh, confuse, though, that this is just for native and not DSP plugins. That's my understanding anyway, because DSP processing is totally different. So this is for native plugins. So I'm going to show you. We've downloaded it. This is on the Mac, and of course, there's a PC version as well double click and we open it and straight away it starts going through my library and scans it and finds anything that I need to look at. Now let's have a look at it. You can add the folders where it searches here. So I've got a VST folder on my Mac. And we can add as many folders as we want just by using this plus and removing them as well. And then what we have as well is we have a blacklist which shows existing RTAS or AX plugins and stuff is added automatically to that list and also stuff that it can't work with and it may be for various reasons and in the manual it tells you why. Uh, so I so say you can scan at any time again. It's going through the list there and it's going through all my VST plugins and it's on a 32-bit scan. Now when you install it, it asks you whether you want to install a 32-bit or a 64-bit version. Now, right now, Pro Tools is 32-bit, so I've, I've gone on the save side of it. So it scanned my folder, and then it shows you all the stuff in that folder that I've got that I could start to work with. Then I can go through, and for example, I've never got this one working, which is a vocoder. We'd all love a, a vocoder, and this is a free vocoder. So if I can wrap this, then that's cool. And it's simply a case of just hitting the wrap button, and it wraps it. Job done. And you can delete wrappers and do anything... Uh, like that that you want. So if you want to unwrap stuff that you've already got in native format in RTAS or AX format, you can unwrap it as well. So you could wrap the lot or just wrap one at a time. I've wrapped one at a time for now. You could also import presets in FXB and FXP format as well. That's very helpful. So they've really had to think about this. So once you've done it, then you close that I'm going to open Pro Tools and test this out and see if it really works. Because as I say, I couldn't get the Sugarbytes one working before when I used a VST wrap on it. So I used a VST to RTAS wrap. Now the cool thing about this is it's allowing MIDI to work as well. So if this has worked, then we are rocking and rolling. So And this is one of the free plugins on our free plugin list. So if it does work, then we can start adding VST plugins in as well, which would be very nice. So we're just loading up Pro Tools. It's just taking a second or two because as you see, I have a lot of plugins in my folder and we are just about there now. So I've loaded in now and so I've got some audio in here and I've got the Talvo coder and I've got it inserted in here. So if you come down here now, Tal, you see I've got a trans VST version of it. So if this works, it means that this VST version of a vocoder, uh, it's going to come through here. I'm going to play my synth, which is coming in here and it should work. And now I'm going to have a vocoder on my my Pro Tools system. So it works. Now, I've not tested every plugin on the planet, but as you can see, it's pretty straightforward and it works. Fantastic news. Go and check it out on the Sugarbyte site. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.